Hi there, in this video I'll be talking about Bitcoin wallets. If you're not familiar with Bitcoins, I'll leave a link in the description to another video I made talking about uh, Bitcoins, which describes uh, all about them, which will give you a better understanding uh, what they're all about. Um, in this video I've got this uh, wallet called BitGo here, which I've been using for a long time now, and uh, it seems to be working um, perfectly for me anyway. Um, I'll probably, probably rate this one as the best one I've used I've used others in the past but this one's probably the, probably the best for me um this a wallet is basically where you're able to store all your bitcoins and you're able to access them at any time you want send or receive them um and this one personally does the best job for me and um, this is the uh, the home page for the site this shows you all about um what services they uh, offer for you and you can have a look and read through all this if you wish I'll leave another link in in the description for this so we can learn all about it, um, brings up different pages, you know, you can read all that. Once you're all registered and signed in, you'll be taken to this page where it'll dis display all your wallets. On the right hand side, it'll show you the Bitcoin price of today's high and low and the current price. Um, I've only got the current one wallet with not many uh, Bitcoins in, which I've sent all of them to an investment website, which I'll probably do another video on in the future. Um, so I'll click on there. This will show you all the different transactions, um, the sent and received. So obviously the green arrows represent the received and the red sent. Um, as I go through them all, you can see all the different transactions uh, that have been going on the whole time I've had it. So I've had it for a long time now. If, for example, if I click on one uh, transaction, it'll come view hit view transaction details here. So you can click on that. Which is a bit, this is a bit more advanced, showing you the. Um, the transaction ID, which tells you how many co confirmations it had, is had there. So this one's had 161 confirmations. Most sites I've been on um, want about three confirmations before the coins are sent or received. So this is a good way to check that the uh, the coins have been confirmed. Um, again, I've talked about um, the confirmations on another video, which uh, I've sent. The I've already put the link in the description. Um, that's just what the miner's job is to confirm the transaction that's been made. Uh, back to here. Um, so, for example, an older one. I don't know. Let's go down here and click view transaction details. It pro it's got more confirmations because it's been on the network for longer. So that one's had two thousand two hundred and thirty-nine. Uh, back on here. So, if I want to send the coins, I click send. And um, for example, if I want to send the coins to myself, that's the address I put there, and then I uh, put that in the send to, and then the amount. So if I wanted to send one bitcoin, obviously I don't have that in my account at the moment, but that it will display there how much you've got. You can change that to your currency in the settings button there. Uh, so mine's obviously Great British Pounds. And um, the transaction priority, low, medium, or high. The internal memo, which is basically tells you. Who you sent it to and why, and then the send button. Instant send is a a way of sending it between um, these websites that are linked up together, which send the coins instantly, and you don't have to wait for the confirmation to go through. It just automatically goes through. Um, and oh, sorry, the receive as well. Uh, the receive that's a QR code which you can uh, um, scan there and send your coins to. If you scan that, you, you probably send me coins, but you don't have to do that. <laughs> uh, you can generate new addresses uh, below your uh, name, uh, the name of the wallet. And I've currently got 16 addresses, which just updates every now and then. Uh, and that's 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 what I mentioned before, where you you just that's where you send your coins to. Uh, this is probably the best wallet I've used. I've used many in the in the past, and this is probably the best one. Uh, I'm not. Don't quote me on this, but I think the first two weeks you sign in, you sign up. There's no sending of bitcoins fee. There's, there's only a very small amount, but I think the first two weeks there isn't a fee. But after that, I think there is. But all um, all wallets have a fee because obviously you need to pay the miners in order to make the transactions verified, and uh, otherwise the whole Bitcoin network wouldn't exist. Um, but I think that basically covers everything uh, on here. Uh, obviously, they've got a um, they got an app on they've got other apps, Shapeshift, which you can use a uh, uh, transfer other cryptocurrency into bitcoins or vice versa, bitcoins into other currency like Ethereum or Bitcoins or whatever. Uh, I'm not too sure about the other two. 
actually. I'm not, not being on them. I have to maybe look into them too. Uh, they also have a, an app on the phone, which is a BitGo for mobiles, uh, which allows you to do all the same things, but just on the go, really, which is quite good. Um, to be honest, I think that quite about covers a wallet. It's just basically where you store all your coins and you just send or receive them. Um, if you've got any questions, just ask, uh, leave in the comments and ask me, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Uh, but other than that, thank you for watching, and uh, speak to you soon.